Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have donated to the Women for Afghan Women (WAW) organization via their Slick Archul Foundation in support of efforts to evacuate and relocate families. Taking to Instagram on Sunday, Volv posted a graphic saying thank you Archwell, alongside a caption which read, We are immensely grateful for the generosity of the Archul Foundation in support of our efforts to evacuate slash relocate thousands of Afghan women, children, families, including our staff. Volv, the largest women's organization in Afghanistan, has over 850 local Afghan staff working tirelessly to provide support services to women, children, and families. Working with strategic partners and local stakeholders, the organization's ultimate goal in Afghanistan is to transform norms of violence and oppression into that of peace and equality. The lengthy statement, released via the couple's Slick Archul Foundation website, called on followers to support organizations including Women for Afghan Women (WAW) but failed to say how much they would be personally donating or details of how they will help. However, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were slammed by a royal expert who called their statement another attempt to form an alternate woke royal family. Meanwhile, social media users branded it vague publicity-seeking word salad and said it was irrelevant as it failed to mention how they personally planned to help in the crisis. Prince Harry's biographer Angela Levin told Female, I think Harry and Meghan's grandiose, comfy and caring comments about the situation in Afghanistan. The disaster in Haiti and new COVID variants is another example of them trying to set up some sort of alternate woke royal family. Like most of their compassionate gestures there is no indication about what they themselves will do and whether any donations will be going through Archul Foundation. Their comment that they want to alleviate suffering among those we know and those we may never meet, but will prove our humanity, sounds so similar to their recent comment we must be compassionate to those we know and those we don't know that makes it sound equally phony. Prince Harry, who spent 10 years in the British Army and performed two frontline tours of Afghanistan, also released a statement via the Invictus Games Foundation to urge veterans to reach out to each other and offer support. Amid scenes of frightened Afghans trying to flee a return to brutal misogynistic rule after the Taliban captured the capital city Kabul, Harry and Meghan's statement, which uses U.S. spelling, said, The world is exceptionally fragile right now. As we all feel the many layers of pain due to the situation in Afghanistan, we are left speechless.